This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Well, Chance the Rapper did an interview with Windy City Live because, you know, he does also have the 50th anniversary Special Olympics taking place in Chicago where he's doing the concert for it with Usher, Smokey Robinson, and more. That happens on July 21st. Well, he sat down and talked about Kanye West coming to Chicago to work on their album together. He said that's going to happen this month. Check it out. Kanye West is like my first image of like, you know, a free black man in the industry. And I just always like loved him for that. Loved his music, loved his creativity, but loved his voice, loved his fearlessness. And so working under him, working with him on his albums is crazy. But having him tell me that he wants to produce my album and come to Chicago and work with me. And say, That's dope. So he's going to come here and like work with you and do your stuff here? Yeah. This month we're working, we're working in Chicago. I think that's exactly what Kanye West needs. He needs to smell some of that fresh Chicago air. I think that mm -hmm. Chicago air will hit him, and it'll be like uh, getting that camera phone light flash in your face when you're in the sunken place. I think that's exactly what he needs to be. I hope so. Now, he also talked about his recent engagement, which went viral. Here's what he had to say about that. Me and my girl never got a chance to have a quiet moment or have any like real discussion on how we were going to announce it to the world or if we would announce it to the world, how much we wanted the world to be in there. But because of how much... You know, a lot of publications and gossip blogs, to how, how much accessibility they have to my life through my friends. Yeah. My, our stuff was out there immediately before I could even really get up and make a toast. It was on Shade Room and everything. So Really? That quick? Oh, yeah. It immediately makes you kind of want to shy away from the public and have more moments to yourself. But as an artist, it gave me a lot to, to work with because it showed me how small of a perspective everybody can have with the little information they get about my life. It's impossible to shy away from the public if you go into the public at all. Unless you plan to, like, just sit in your house all day long. When you go out in the public, you're going to have interactions with the public. Because even if you're not recording the situation, somebody other is. people will be. Absolutely. Yeah, so I guess somebody must have sent it in. How did that even work? Or did he post it? Oh, a friend could have posted it on their page and then tag somebody tag Shade Room or Ball Alert, and then it just pops up that way. All right, now, LaShawn McCoy, there's more information on what both sides are saying as far as Delicia Cordon, his ex-girlfriend. You guys saw what her face looked like when someone broke into the home and pistol whipped her, according to her side of the story. Now, we also have the 911 call. Here is that first call. Well, here's the call when she's first talking about somebody breaking into the home. Someone broke into my house. I was looking for money and jewelry, and my son is missing. It's okay. Beautiful. Were weapons involved or mentioned, ma'am? Yes, a gun. I got beat in the face, like me and my cousin, and I have. Oh my god. Okay. I got something to do with my ex boyfriend. All right, does anyone. Are... Okay, that's fine. Does anyone need medical attention? You said you were hit in the head. Do you need medical yeah, attention? I have, okay. My face is demolished right now. I just need to know what my son is. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that sounds scary. And then she talks about uh, her ex-boyfriend, LaShawn McCoy, and how she thinks he's involved. You know, I have cameras all outside my house, and my boyfriend, who I feel like did this, who set me up, is going to see us on the camera. Okay. <laughs> I really feel like cause they, we're breaking up, and he wants all his jewelry back. All right, now, there's more information, too. Apparently, there's at least three incidents over the past year for that house that they lived in in Georgia. Now, LaShawn McCoy had called the police on Delicia back in July of 2017. When the cops got there, they saw that he was standing in front of a large mound of her clothing. And he explained they were having issues. They broke up after she accused him of cheating on her. He also said that she had some jewelry that she wouldn't give back. He said that jewelers often loan them high-end jewelry items to wear for events, and she had some of these items and had not returned them. He asked for them multiple times, but she had not returned them. And then he goes on to say that he was concerned that she would make false accusations about him. He stated that he was trying to be very careful about being around her, given the climate of domestic abuse in his profession. So this case, they're saying, could be relevant since Delicia says that whoever broke into her house and pistol whipped her demanded very specific items of jewelry. That's why she feels like he is responsible. And she has told the police, as you heard in those 911 calls, that she feels that he's responsible. She also says that her neighbor has surveillance cameras and she can get, perhaps get some information from there. Jesus Christ, superstar. Mm. Praying for all parties involved in that situation. I hope they uh, figure it out. I hope the law figures it out. And I uh, hope they get through it. 
All right, now Cardi B. We told you yesterday that Nicki Minaj sent a five thousand dollar gift basket. That was that was gangster for I the like birth that. of culture. Well, wasn't true. <laughs> Cardi B wasn't put true. not true. What it wasn't five thousand dollars. I guess Hollywood Unlocked posted the story and she just wrote not true. She responded, not true. So I don't know what's not so true. She, she didn't never send a gift anything. at all or it wasn't $5,000? Listen, it's a DM. All she said was not true. Well, I don't feel so bad now. Then. I, I thought they said that. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I felt bad. I thought, they, I thought they said Cardi's people called the store that the actual gift came from and asked if, if, if Nikki purchased it. And they said no. That's what I thought the story but was. But Nikki didn't put a card on it? Did you, you put a card on yours? You damn right. I put you a card on yours. I thought you said you didn't yesterday. send your name well, on I, it. What I did, I sent a message. You know how Bed Bath & Beyond, they ask you if you want to send a message with it? Right. So I typed in the message I wanted to send. Oh, you said yesterday you didn't. No, y'all asked me if I sent a card. I didn't send a card, but I typed That's in a That's a card. It comes with a thing. Yes, it is. I typed a message on Bed Bath & Beyond. Cardi, that was me that bought that car seat. Okay, no, that was... pull up the receipt right now. <laughs> what did they say Nikki bought? Hold on. What, what did they send Nikki book? It was just a five thousand dollar gift bag. That was just, me. I bought it. Just a five thousand nah, dollar. That that was me. That I actually did that. Yeah, with no card on it. That You're was me. A liar. Yeah, that was well, me. they can call the store and track and see if Envy really sent it. It's Rashawn. My, it was my government name, Rashawn. I sent Cardi a maxi cozy Rachel Zoe special edition jet set Priya eighty five convertible car seat. Okay. Why That's I sound not what like, you said yesterday. Why I sound like Ralphie describing the uh, red BB gun in a. Uh, I didn't even have store. her uh, information. Did she post it on social media? Oh, the patients actually sent me the registry. I ain't sent y'all the registry. I thought no. I sent y'all the registry. I didn't even have it. Hey, wait, 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 what car seat? Maxi Cozy, Rachel's old special oh, no, edition jet set Priya 85 convertible yeah, car nah, that's, that's not, you should know, you should have got it. Like it's on her registry, that's what she wanted. You should have got a bride tax. Bride tax is safer for kids. What the hell is bride tax? Bride tax is a car seat. It's what she requested. I thought bride tax sound like Gore-Tex for babies. <laughs> what? <laughs> you sound like something Envy will wear, right? Jesus. <laughs> All right, well, Goodness I'm gracious. Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.